It's the perfect time of year. That corn is just right for chopping. We need to pick up a chopper. We need cattle. First, we need some feed. Man, I left a straggler out in the middle of my field here. Let's get to it. Oh, I can't wait to start chopping some silage, some corn silage, so we can get some dairy cattle finally, because we are behind. I'm going to open up the garage. We got everything packed in here, nice and tight. Man, do we need some more storage around here. But, ooh, don't... Can I get that semi out? I might be able to sneak that semi by still. Let's see. This old girl will start. Hmm. Uh-oh. This isn't good whatsoever. Hmm. Shoot, I'm gonna have to uh, look in here, see what we got going on. It appears we have something wrong with the fuel system. I really don't have time to work on this right now. Oof. I'm gonna call the local shop, and see if they can, uh, if I can pull it in there quick. Gonna have to go get the telephone. Hey there, Gina. Forgot to feed you this morning. There you go, baby. Yeah, eat that up, Gina. All right, let's see. Gotta use the old landline. All right, called the local shop. They actually said I can loan one of their old Kinworths they have. Flat face Kinworth. So the only issue is uh, they said they can't transport it until a few days if I could get this truck there somehow they will work on it right away for me so that is going to be the issue really don't know man do you think that Ford has it in it I mean this is a F-250 so a three-quarter ton hmm think we might actually have to break out our Chevy, our old Dooley here. Means nobody else can do it. I guess the uh, GMC Dooley has to save the day. The only issue is we need to move this planter, so I'll open this door up here. All right, let's get this planter hooked up and moved. Ooh, now the question is, where, oh where, can we put a planter? Hmm, probably, looks like we're going to have to back it up here and put it with our heads. Hmm, better back this old truck up. All right, we got that hooked up. We're gonna try to back this planter into our building here. Man, I hope that old GMC has enough to put this, uh, hold that on that trailer. That International Eagle is a little heavy. Man, are we going to fit in there? Ooh. Ooh, just barely. Just barely. Just barely fit in there. 
unhitch it. All right, we are all set up. So uh, I guess I can leave that right here for now. Shut that tractor off there. Good running track deer there. All right, now we just need to hopefully get this GMC running. Somehow get that eagle on that trailer. Hmm. I'm gonna have to find my winch around here, wherever it is. Look at that. Look at that skill right there. Perfect placement. I uh, I might probably should have uh, put a little bit more weight on the back. Good thing we got a heavy duty trailer here with duels on both sides. But uh, we'll hopefully get this Eagle. It's going to be a little bit hard for this GMC, but it's a dually. And we got extra leaf springs on it. That Ford had it in it. It's just, it's just the F-250. That's all it is. Nothing against Ford here. So I'm going to shut my garage doors. And uh, hopefully head to town so we can pull back our silage equipment. Nice and slow, just so we don't wear out the brakes in this thing. Look at that big hopping thing behind us. Whew. Poor old GMC, I almost feel sorry for it right now. This is why we got you, old girl. It's to do these big old tasks like this. Well, I better get in my lane here, that would be the smart thing to do. that oh wow you see how close the mufflers were exhaust pipes that was close call I would be crying for days if I bent one of them Ooh, got a stop sign will we break in time oh we got plenty of brakes on this old girl wasn't sure there if we had enough by the bank here. Bank's been pressuring us to get into cattle like our initial plan was too. So we definitely need to get into cattle. Ooh. Wow. I see a pretty truck over there. What do we got here? That sure is pretty. Alright, we will get this thing unloaded here. This is an old gas station. They converted into a small repair shop here. They still sell some gas, but they will work on a vehicle or two. They're going to work on this, and we are going to swap for this flat face. Man, I call this suicide cab, but I, I guess they call this a cab over. Man, I just love driving these cab overs. Let's look inside here. Look at that big old steering wheel. We are going now. Wow, look at this style. Man, all this chrome, all everything is just so shiny. We are ready to be kings of the road. Get this started up, warmed up, so we can get back and pick up our trailer and pick up these silage equipment. All right, that's running. All right, I'm gonna have my wife drive back this truck. I'm gonna drive this back, pick up our uh, our trailer, and go over there and pick up our silage wagon. All right, so we got this loaded. So we are just borrowing this this Alice Chalmers 
8000 series front wheel assist so we got this two row chopper on there it will take us a while to chop our corn but we're not going to chop the whole field of course we are going to get started chopping here or we're going to get started hauling here with our beautiful cab over we'll get this i did bring the 4050 here just to pull back one of the wagons i got a few wagons to pull back but we will start heading down the road in here look back there like i can on my international so this is the field we're going to be chopping right beside us we are gonna chop it a little bit closer to our silo it's a little bit far away so i, I want to be able to uh not have to pull the wagons back very far all right we are going to get this unloaded here and hopefully everything is running good and i just have to pull back a few wagons there and we should be on our way Give it an old one-two test and it's running so now all we have to do is get the wagons back here. It takes a while pulling these wagons with the trusty old 4050. running good so I plan on using this to basically transport the wagons back and forth need the PTO because you can't run the PTO through the chopper at least most choppers you can't so we will basically use this to put it into our uh, standing or standing silo I think you call it don't know for sure Got a little ways to go, and then we have to drive all the way back and do it over again. See that over there? We got to get our silage chopped because uh, we, our oats are ready. Uh, yeah, we need to get in the field over there. We are a little behind. Man, so much to do here in Iowa. Finally getting back to the farm here. Whew takes forever when you're driving 18 miles an hour for 10 miles all right we'll get this hitched up and i will go make another trip i guess oh joy all right we got the long gravy train here or chopping train so i think i'm gonna go over here and start Somewhere on the outskirts of this field. Just got to find a good area to turn around without going in the ditch. Alright, this is fun. Start chopping away here. Our old Alice. Ooh, it's kind of hard seeing where we're at here. Everything appears to be working, I hope. There we go. We are probably just going to start doing the outskirts for now. And I might end up going across these rows. So this is our big field of corn. The corn we planted before the major rain. So this is our only field ready to chop right now. Wow, it's 
gonna take a while to fill up that wagon Ooh, wow that is one heck of a ditch there couldn't even see that ditch with that grass so I know we didn't get it to basically uh, to swapping our field of grass we are uh, just too far behind here in the 80s so uh, hopefully we can still get to that before we uh, have to corn harvest but not making any promises might have to rent a uh, local farmers uh, equipment all right we are just I'm so I don't run over crops I'm just basically uh, ooh, uh, forgot that ditch again uh oh should we get our straggler Oh, our poor little straggler. We better chop them up just to make our uh, farmyard look correct. Chop you up here. There you go. No more random corn in the middle of our... Uh, by our ditch, I guess. This is going to take a while to fill up these at two rows at a time, but we will see how quick we can get it done. So we got our first load in our silage wagon here. I'm gonna pull it over here. I'm just going to probably leave it because all we're gonna do is put it in our silo right here. So I think that's a good area to drop it off. All right, I'm gonna have to switch this up here with our uh, 4050 chop another load all right now we just got to get this load chopped up don't know how many loads we aren't gonna do too many loads basically just because uh, we don't even have any cattle yet I'm just gonna slowly get into cattle and not go too big too quick let's just say that oh, I probably should have turned that on until I turned just so I don't crank that uh, gear shaft really hard. All right, turn that old beast on. Got to turn sharply. This old Alice 8000 series is a beast. It's chopping up this corn easily. I know we are just taking two rows at a time here, but uh, it's doing fairly well. We're not really going down the rows either, but it's probably better doing it this way than knocking over the corn by driving on it. Okay, we got about four loads in our silo already. I think I'm going to probably end with six loads. I think that's plenty of silage for our cattle, hopefully anyways. Get this all loaded up into the bin uh, I think after this yeah I'm going to basically put that last load of silage in our uh, hopper over there or silo I should say Ooh, I'm way off right here all right shut that off there we go Turn this beast around, head around again. So I just have a few more loads to go. Shouldn't take long. I, like I said, I'm not gonna do a huge amount. One, because I got a pole type here, and two, uh, no one, uh, 
we're not gonna get too big into cattle too quickly otherwise we will go broke and two I had an agreement only to use this for about six loads get over here unload this quickly all right now we're finally running into our silo here got this one just gotta empty it out in here look at that thing run it's kind of nice being able to look at all this right in the cab and everything basically we could do mo majority of this in the cab which uh, it's good because we don't have that chaff all over us but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in the 80s watch out for the danger see you later guys and girls thank you all for watching like comment and share and subscribe See you next time.